Hey everybody, this is an update on the charting that I got today. Um, yeah, I have a concert tomorrow, so I had to do this <clears throat> pretty quickly. First thing I did was I lowered the nut and re glued it in. It was just a little bit high. The nut looks good though, the way it was cut. So you can see it's nice and low now. Tighten the truss rod just a little. Didn't really need it, but I wanted to see if I could flatten it out a little bit. They had one of these pegs in so tight, it was like a machine pushed it in on the low E. And uh, I tried everything. I'm a former jeweler. I tried tapping it out from the back. So, yeah, it eventually broke as I pried it out. So these are a, a different brand than the Charton pegs. They actually have abalone in them, so I don't mind. So I installed my LR bags. And I used a step-up bit to do this. And that's the size that I needed. And I'll finish putting the pin jack in. It plays and sounds amazing. It reminds me of the early Zeppelin albums. Jimmy Page. I don't know if that's Martin-y or not. I've never had a Martin. It reminds me of it. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's the Martin sound, but it's close. Oh, I also had to install this. I took this off the back and put it up front. There was no strap button in the front. I don't like it when they go off the headstock. Beautiful guitar. Very happy. They did a great job. So that's it. The intonation is great. So I've already had the strings tightened up and checked. I also um, lowered the bridge. They had a, a series of abalone shims under this bridge. And I took half of them out. And it's now perfect. Well, that's a day spent in my luthier shop. I'm happy it made it. Should have been here in seven days, but it took 16. They had the wrong zip code on it. And you can watch my other video of the unboxing. Thanks for watching.